Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. The light inside me is broken, but I still work. And it is time for episode 49 of my Paradise Killer Let's Play. Welcome back, Investigator. So, here we are. Resuming the trials, ready to dive into the second and probably much faster investigation. Uh, the investigation as to how Henry became possessed. A decade ago, Henry became possessed by a demon, killing his mother and allowing demonic corruption to spill out into the world. The area around his apartment was sealed off and became the dead zone. During his arrest, he killed the syndicate's exorcist, Grace Bloodlines. For the last ten years, he has been contained and sedated in the desolation cell with inhibitors. Investigator, Starlight has logged Henry's possession a decade ago as a case file related to the murder of the Council. Is Starlight being overzealous, or do you believe there is something there that warrants investigation? Was someone else involved with Henry's possession and the demonic invasion that spelled doom for the island? Well, we really only have one suspect. Um, I mean, obviously... Obviously, Henry, Henry, Henry read a grimoire and, and became possessed by that method. But Yuri is the only person who could have possibly given it to him. No evidence relating to anybody else whatsoever. So let's point the finger at Yuri Knight. Good sound design. I believe Yuri pushed Henry down the path to possession. I thought you were supposed to be an investigation freak. You've got nothing on me. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Inside a safe in Henry's apartment is one of the forbidden tomes of demonology from the library vault. What's that got to do with me? Which book? The Grimoire of Magida. A frightful tome. How did a citizen come to obtain one of the restricted texts? Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Henry told me a stranger supplied him with the tome that would lead to his possession. Someone took a shine to him and slipped him a restricted text. And you think it was me? You're a joke. I had nothing to do with this. Don't consort with citizens. You'll need better evidence than this. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Yuri accessed the vault that contains books on demonology. I believe Yuri took books on demonology and gave them to Henry, preying on a vulnerable mind and pushing him towards communicating with the gods. The plan was for him to become possessed. The plan. The freak wouldn't know a plan if she saw it. She's just making up stories and you're going to go along with it. Exile caused her brain to rot. You're letting the freak fool you with lies, speculation and fiction. The plan will become clear in later case files. There is a conspiracy at play and I need you to trust me. If I get this wrong, you can reverse the conviction, I'll go back to the Idle Lands, and Yuri can walk free. Someone committed the crime to end all crimes, and the path to truth is a winding one. We cannot go on trust. This is not justice. Do not dare to lecture me on justice. I am justice incarnate. The court trusts the investigator. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. The thing is, though, we were told at the start of this uh, trial that no matter what happens... We have to present facts, 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 and speculation will not be accepted. Two-thirds of what I say is speculation. Um, half the time I present some hard evidence and it's like, ah, speculatory. And half the time I present speculation and the judge is just like, yep, sure, okay. I have nothing more to present. I have considered your truth, ruminated on the... Is that going to be the same every single time? There is no jury here. I must leave it to the impartial sword of justice within me to stab through the heart of the lies and let the blood of the truth flow. I'm not reading that every time if that happens at the end of each one of these. A truth is revealed. A truth known. A truth proves. Yuri guilty. That was easy. This is unacceptable. Do you know who I am? I have been chosen. I will be on the next council. This freak has taken away my destiny. I will burn the syndicate to the ground. Yuri, be quiet. No, I'm the blessed servant of my goddess. I was destined for greatness. I helped and now you... 
I helped you and now I'm going to die. These are the ravings of someone deceived by a god that's been caught out. Is this true, Yuri? She promised me a seat on the new council and to retrieve enchanted blue from the real world. Nonsense. I got Henry the books on demonology, sent him down the dark path. The plan needed the island to end and Henry provided the answer. Okay, well, I guess that torpedoes my theory that Yuri was behind it all playing both sides of two different murder plots. Um, I gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed by the way this is working mechanically. This is probably the worst possible way to make this go. It looks like the entire game was finding the data and this grand climax doesn't actually have anything for me to do. I just press A on all of the evidence that I have found one by one and then they admit it, you know? That's kind of disappointing. Also, we absolutely did not prove that he that he's the one who provided the book. He's not the only person who's allowed to access that archive. It's just that he's the only one who's still left on the island. That crime was committed 10 years ago. It could um it could easily have been one of the many other syndicate people who would have had access to that archive who live on the island. The truth lies within a conspiracy. Judgment has passed. Your facts have become the truth. Uh, I'm going to save again, I guess. The murder of Grace Bloodlines. Grace was our chief exorcist and Henry was convicted for her murder, which he allegedly committed during his arrest. One last kiss seems to think that she was set up to die. Grace Bloodlines was murdered ten years ago. I presided over the trial. I saw the sun's light cast the shadows from terror and leave only the truth visible. The truth may still be in shadow. Do those terrible events from a decade ago have a link to the tragedy of last night? I investigated it at the behest of One Last Kiss. Who is One Last Kiss? The ghost of Grace Bloodlines. She's on the island. A ghost of a murder victim ten years ago is on the island. Is that so hard to believe, Judge? Can you prove you are who you say you are? Haunted, complex, crescent, drifting sands, satellite. Confirmation, Grace Bloodline's unique blood code. One last kiss asked me to find her resting spot. I unlocked her blood vial and she confirmed the code independently. It's so nice to see everyone again. What do you have to do with the murder last night? I was murdered ten years ago, allegedly by Henry, who everyone here would have you believe is the council murderer. Makes you think, doesn't it? What if the two are linked? One last kiss asked me to investigate her murder. She believes there is more to it than the official version of events. Do you suspect her? I'm actually not sure what it's asking me here. Do I, do I suspect that there was a murder or do I suspect that she's lying? No, I believe she is a victim in all this. Well done, Investigator. You have seen the truth clearly. Paradise gets even more bizarre. The trials continue. Lady Love dies. Drive us along the Highway of Truth. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure based on the hidden photo that it's Carmelina. We know that Aikiko left her alone, but um, in terms of actual hands on necks, I'm pretty sure it was Carmelina. I also like the, the furious versions of each of them that we gain access to at this point. We've never had, to, had the chance to look at them furious as an entire model, only as moments in conversations. But yes, all of the evidence, for, in my opinion, is against Carmelina. The Anvil of Justice. I believe Carmelina was the architect of her murder. This is nonsense. You have no evidence. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. When Henry was arrested, Grace was meeting with Carmelina. Carmelina requested to accompany Grace on the exorcism. This is unusual, as it would place Carmelina in an unnecessary amount of danger. It may be unusual, but it does not prove she is the perpetrator. Of course it doesn't. The investigator is trying to prove fantasy. It may have placed me in danger, but the pursuit of knowledge sometimes requires risk. Yeah, but also it does prove she was at the scene of the crime, which is very important when you're trying to prove that someone did a murder. Why didn't that... Why... 
Why doesn't she say that? Why am I not allowed to say, hey, it puts her at the scene of the crime and is therefore important evidence? While Grace and Carmelina were en route to Henry, Carmelina sent a message to Aikiko. She instructed her to leave Henry and Grace alone together. This message was intercepted before it was scrubbed from the server. Carmelina forgot to use encryption. Architect? I have no recollection of this. It sounds like a fabrication. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. I found a photo of Grace's body that had been excluded from the report. It was hidden on the barracks server. It showed the strangle marks on Grace's neck. Doomjazz took a look at it and suggested they were done by someone that wore a wedding ring. Carmelina wore a wedding ring at the time when Grace was killed. I suspect that Carmelina killed Grace when Henry did not step up and do it for her. It's also worth pointing out Henry did not wear a wedding ring. You've got to, you've got to say both sides of that. This is tenuous, isn't it? Anything could have caused that mark, couldn't it? Doctor? It is my firm opinion that this was done by a ring worn on the wedding ring finger. Bruising can contain very detailed information. Preposterous, the doctor would say anything to a pretty face. Back off, architect. Leader. We'll see. Why would architect Carmelina have killed Grace? Yuri gave Henry demonology books. Henry was being set up to end the island and possibly scapegoated for the murder of the council. A dead exorcist means that the demon in Henry would still be around and useful when it came time to pin the blame on someone for last night. When Henry didn't kill Grace Bloodlines, Aikiko stepped in and framed Henry, giving him a history of murder. This sounds like a conspiracy, Investigator. I believe so, Judge. Very well. Absolutely not, this is a farce! Hold your tongue in the halls of justice. Present your evidence, construct a truth. I have nothing more to present. You have presented a veritable treasure trove of facts. I have considered your truth, ruminated on the implications, soaked in the facts, steeped in the leaves of veracity. I said I wasn't going to read all of this when it repeats itself. A truth is revealed, a truth is known, a pr truth proves. Carmelina guilty. Grace Bloodlines was murdered by the hand of the architect. So this is the truth. Thank you for your work, investigator. What? How dare you? This is nonsense. This trial is over. Henry will be executed and the Freak will be sent back to the Idle Lands. This is my courtroom. I am Justice Incarnate. You do not have the authority to end the trials. You have been found guilty. You will receive your punishment. The trials continue. Yeah, I've got to say... I've got to say, I don't think this is the best way to do it. I mean, obviously, partly... Partly this is because I've pretty much 100%ed the game world, so I've found all of the evidence. So if I simply present all of the evidence, then it just decides that I'm correct, right? Like, I don't have to construct a narrative. Um, I think I'll talk about this when we do a little roundup during the credits, which is what I usually do at the end of a Let's Play, but yeah, there are other ways, there are other, other mechanics that could have been designed to work with this, and I don't know whether they would have worked at all, but I suspect they would have worked better than simply just having a list of stuff. I've got to admit, I'm very curious about what would happen if I chose the wrong person. Would Judge tell me I was wrong, or would it be possible to damn someone with evidence, even if I don't think it's the real truth? The first holy seal that protects the council is made up of two high-ranking God Justice Marshals, fearsome warriors trained to neutralize potential threats to the council. Who killed them and how? Last night, the Talon Hand of Death reached out for the first Holy Seal Guards. They were butchered at their post. Who snatched the life from them? Was it the accused, or is there another truth skulking on the periphery of our knowledge? They were elite marshals and gave their lives guarding our beloved council. How were they killed, and why? I'm not entirely certain which what that means. Confident in the truth of last night, or explained breach several days ago? I think, I guess truth of last night means going with the official story? I have reason to believe the killer may not have breached the seals last night. There is evidence that points to one or more killers breaching the seals and planting the tools for murder two days ago. What about the murdered guards? 
They were murdered last night, but their murder may not be tied to the actual murder of the council. I will show you the truth. Investigator, please review your case file and confirm who you wish to accuse. This one's Aikiko again. <laughs> uh, because the people who were killed were not guards. They were dressed in guard costumes and Aikiko definitely fucking killed them. Although, of course... <sighs> Lydia's guilty of bypassing. This is the first time I've actually had to... Hmm. This isn't an issue of who did the crime. The issue here is what is the crime? The crime is who killed the seal marshals, and that was definitely... But is that even the case? The two people who were killed weren't seal marshals, right? So this is the murder of two... This isn't the question of who killed the seal marshals, this is the question of who broke the first seal, which is Aikiko by removing the guards and replacing them with uh, civilians. And then she murdered the civilians, but the question isn't who murdered the civilians. It's who killed the Holy Seal Marshals, which is nobody, because the Seal Marshals weren't killed. This is so... <laughs> this is driving me insane. There should... There should be an additional and entirely separate crime that I can accuse Lydia of, which is bypassing the Seal. Like, I don't believe Lydia killed the Marshals. But she definitely did bypass the... Um, bypass the Seal. This is really... Kind of confusing and inconsistent. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe... I mean, maybe the actual killing was done by Lydia, but it's still the Grand Marshal who put them there in the first place. Because, this, again, the Seal Marshals weren't killed, they were replaced by, by civilians who were supposed to be dead anyway, so what difference does it make? The Grand Marshal holds the answers. I'm really not sure how this one's going to turn out, because I'm not sure which way to go with this. Then I you you're out of your mind. You dare accuse me of murdering my own marshals? Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Let's kick off with the mismatching blood, because I need, I need the game to know that I know that they weren't marshals. They're not your marshals. An unexpected glint of truth in the riverbed of mystery. The dead bodies at the first seal aren't marshals. That's a lie, Nenorisito. Where are the real marshals? My suspicion is somewhere in the barracks. Do you have anything to say, Grand Marshal? Uh, that's Romanian again. Grand Marshal, this is a courtroom. Keep your language in check. A blood sample from dead guards doesn't match any records for the marshals. She's lying. Her little PDA got it wrong. Did Starlight get it wrong? Is this really the truth? This is the truth, Judge. The blood doesn't match. Those bodies are not marshals. Did you run a DNA test on the bodies? No, Dr. Doomjazz told me that the server containing the necessary DNA files has been corrupted. Is this true? Yes, Judge, my system's automated backup failed. I checked the one on the moon and that was corrupted as well. Can we recover the data? The only people that can are on the next island and we're in lockdown. Do you suspect foul play? There's no way to tell. Troubling. Carry on, investigator. Aikika refused to let Doomjazz examine the bodies. Why? She didn't want to dishonor their sacrifice. This is a break in procedure. They gave their lives in service. Their bodies should not be desecrated by an examination. I believe she was trying to hide that the blood didn't match. Why? Aikiko's in a relationship with Captain Voth, who was stationed at the First Seal last night. Don't you dare say his name, Nenorosito. Do not dishonor him with your lies. How do you know this, love dies? Crimson testified to it. Miss Acid? I can't divulge my sources, but it's true. Relationships between the Grand Marshal and her troops are expressly forbidden. Doomjazz testified that the Council had found out about her relationships with her troops. You really can't keep anything to yourself if you see a bit of leg, can you? I'm sorry, Akiko. I never thought you were involved with any of this. I'm duty-bound to aid an investigation. Did it work? Did you get laid? Enough. Do not take the sanct- <laughs> Do not taint the sanctity of this Church of Truth. All this talk of legs and taints, gosh. Ice Kiwami told him that the Council were going to strip her of her authority on the next island. If Akiko knew this, it would give her motive to kill the Council. 
Soldiers are sworn to give their lives in service. As their commander, I did not take the honour of a glorious death from them. Hmm. Switched bodies. I mean, we know she switched the bodies. Then why did you switch the bodies? The bodies weren't switched. You've made this up. Can you prove the bodies were not switched, Grand Marshal? There are records in the barracks. Judge, the barracks have become Aikiko's private fiefdom. The marshals aren't loyal to the syndicate or the god, they're loyal to her. Any proof she can magic up from the barracks cannot be trusted. I agree with you, investigator. Aikiko didn't want her troops to die. She knew about the murder and she switched them. Can you prove that? Aikiko removed two prisoners from the barracks prison. Do you have proof they are the murdered guards? No, but they are unaccounted for. They were never logged back into the prison after being removed. Can't even make up a convincing story for her lie. The maintenance shed near the council building shows signs of habitation. There are drag marks and human waste inside. Aikiko stored them in there and switched them out when the time came. Do you have anything else? Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Actually, now that I think about it, it's especially weird that you're told um, to only give hard evidence and no speculation when it also then expects Lady Love Dies to provide a narrative. It's just totally inconsistent. You know, she has to present the evidence, but then speculate to tie the bits of evidence together because that's necessary. <laughs> the guards were killed with a damaged blade. A damaged blade. The lacerations on their throat were ragged. This indicates a blade with nicks or damage. This indicates that a blade with nicks or damage would have caused them. Aikiko's sword is battle damaged and would have caused the messy lacerations on the victims. Aikiko staged the guard murder and scapegoated Henry. This fits with her plan of faking Henry's escape. What's the grand plan, love dies? We've got more case files to go, Judge. What about the blade Henry was found with? Henry's blade was a new, perfect blade. It doesn't have a serrated edge. It wouldn't have made a ragged cut. Aikiko staged the guard murder and scapegoated Henry. She made a mistake, or she got too cocky, though, and she didn't use the right blade to kill the guards. Do you have anything else? <laughs> Aikiko's alibi is broken. Do you have anything else? Aikiko staged the guard murder and scapegoated Henry. She has a previous conviction, so why else would she have aided his escape? Do you have anything else? Present your evidence. I have nothing else. Good work, love dies. I have considered your truth, ruminated on the implicate- Oh, fucking here we go again. The truth in this case file sparkles brilliantly. A truth is revealed, a truth is known, a truth proves. Aikiko guilty. Got anything to say about this one, Aikiko? I was ordered to kill my troops. I would never do that. Bonds born on the battlefield cannot be broken. That's a lie. She's lying. I switched the guards out for prisoners and I killed the fakes. Why didn't you admit to it when you told us about the rest of your involvement? Are you stupid? Before all of this, I was a soldier. I will be a soldier till I die. That's about 10 minutes. Soldiers will always see their mission through. I was not going to have my name further tarnished if you had no evidence. I will be executed regardless. Soldiers must maintain their dignity no matter what. You know, I don't say it much because we don't see it often, but that dark brown eyeshadow really suits her. The truth becomes clearer. The trial of the century drags on and on, so it looks like that's going to be it from me for today. Join me again for what should be the final one, and frankly, I'm going to make it the final one. Um, unless, like, two of the remaining things take up, like, 20 minutes by themselves. Good god, this is, uh... You know, when they call it the trial of the century, they're not usually talking about the duration. Anyway, so join me again, and we should hopefully see the other three seals and the crime to end all crimes investigated one by one. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again next time. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.